So well, according to the Intel, ARC A770M beats the RTX 3060 mobile by how much? Today in this video, we will check out the benchmark of Intel ARC A770M. So apparently we got the benchmarks of A770M and it looks like it is beating RTX 3060 mobile by how much? We will check it out. By the way, ARC GPUs won't hit the US market by the summer, but you know, they are already being shipped in selected laptops in China and Intel claims that A730M and A770M are faster than RTX 3050 Ti Mobile and 3060 Mobile respectively. Now this Intel A-Series Mobile lineup of graphics card has baked with the TSMC's 6 nanometer process and the A730 comes with 24 XE cores and 24 ray tracing units with a clock speed of 1.1 GHz while the A770M has 8 more XC cores and ray tracing units and it can go up to 1.65 GHz. Compared with A730, A770 has a twice the compute performance power. Also there is a significant gap in memory configuration between A730 and A770M. While A730 has a 12 gigs of GDDR6 memory, 192 bit memory, while A770 has 16 gigs of GDDR6 with 256 bit memory burst. The A730 M pre production unit has the latest Core i7 12700H. This one is a 14 core Alder Lake Edge chip and it's got 16 gigs of DDR5 4800 MHz memory. While a direct competitor to that is a RTX 3050 Ti mobile chip that belongs to the ROG Zephyrus M16, which has got octa core i7 11800H Tiger Lake chip and 16 gigabyte of DDR4 3200 MHz memory. Important thing is asus device uses 60 watt version of the rtx 3050 ti also there is a miles of difference between the a770m and rtx 3060 mobile machines a770m's pre-production laptop has 14 core i9 12900hk the flagship alder lake cpus with 16 gigs of ddr5 4800 megahertz memory while the rtx 3060 mobile emerges inside the msi pulse gl66 which nearly has the exact same specifications as the ROG Zephyrus M16. Now here is the important thing. Well, RTX 3060 Mobile has a TGP range between 60 watt and 115 watt and the MSI Pulse GL66 features an 85 watt variant. So well, that was the hardware part. Now talking about the benchmarks, testing the mean performance of 17 games, here we can see Arc 770M is significantly miles ahead than all the other GPUs that we have seen. Here we got average performance of 88.3 FPS while the RTX 3060 is 78.8 FPS. But the mean performance doesn't really mean a lot to all the games. In Assassin's Creed, the story completely changes. Arc 770M lags behind than RTX 3060 by 5 FPS while the A730M is ahead than the RTX 3050. In Borderlands 3, Intel wins in the control high settings, again the Intel wins over here. In the Dead Stranding Ultra settings, RTX 3060 seems to be doing much better, also RTX 3050 Ti. In F1 2021 Ultra settings, we got some exceptional performance in A770M. We got 123 FPS while 3060 is just getting 96. Our GPUs clearly win over here. In Horizon Zero Down Ultimate Quality, again, Arc GPUs seems to be getting weakened and RTX mobile GPUs are having much more FPS. In Metro Exodus Ultra, Arc GPU wins. In Red Dead Redemption, again, Intel wins over here. In Strange Bridge Ultra settings, Arc GPU totally miles ahead. Mind blowing performance right there. Whopping 40 frames extra. While in the A730, which we got something like 20 to 30 frames extra. Also in the Division, The Witcher 3, Total War Sega and Watch Dogs, Intel takes ahead. According to Intel, 1080p result for the A730M was about 13% faster than the RTX 3050 mobile. Although one thing you should note, Intel didn't specify the TGP for the A730M. So these numbers cannot be got into the proper perspective, but we can say A730M wiggles between 80 watt to 120 watt while the RTX 
3050Ti Mobile ranges between 35 to 80 watts. Intel used a 60 watts SKU for comparison paired with a slower processor. And even then, the difference wasn't that much of a significant. While the Arc S, while the Arc A770M got the flagship Arc SKU and we got 12% higher performance than the RTX 3060 mobile. But again, the TGP for the A770M remains to be a mystery. According to Intel, A770M sits between 120 and 150 watt. However, RTX 3060 mobile consuming 85 watt and 3060 mobile offers TGP limits between 60 watts to 115 watt. Overall, we can clearly see Intel might be able to deliver the RTX 3060 mobile level performance but prices will of course will be the factor to consider. Intel also offers AB1 encoding hardware which you don't really get onto other GPUs as of right now. So all in all I can see Intel wins the race. That's why I'm wearing the blue shirt. So guys what do you think about it? Do let me know in the comments down below. I hope this video was helpful so make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.